Hey everybody, what's up, what up, hey booby trap, I see you, Dude. welcome to the reality recap, what up everybody, I was off today so excuse my look, hey hot boy, hey, Oh, hold up. You got your volume up? Candace, you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, 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 about hi. The DMs? hi. Hey. <laughs> Congrats on the new house. Thank you. <laughs> Candace making money moves. Hey, y'all. Hey, everyone. Oh, my God. I got to tell y'all. So just five minutes before going live. I come out the bathroom and there's this big ass cricket in my hallway just <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> when I tell you I scream so loud, like Mariah Carey loud, oh my God, crickets are ugly. And then I was trying to kill it and it kept hopping around. So I just grabbed Lysol and just sprayed the hell out of it. I was like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I drowned that shit in Lysol and it was still trying to hop. Oh my, <laughs> that's so gross. I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> Um, but welcome to the reality recap, everyone. <laughs> what up, y'all? Well, like, <laughs> um, oh, crickets are ugly as fuck, you know? That really scared me. My dog looking at me like, what the hell? He's looking at me right now like, what the hell is going on with her? <laughs> like, she drinks too much. Nah. Um, I wanted to talk about Tamar Braxton before we get into, like, love and hip-hop and everything like that. Hey, Laker girl. Hey, she gossips. Dude, hey, bigs. <laughs> Um, did you hear about the Tamar Braxton stuff when she was on Wendy Williams? Oh, no, I heard she was on Ivana, um, Fix, Fix My Life. That, too. We're gonna get to the Basketball Wives um, reunion, but, which was a hot mess. But, yeah, she was on Wendy Williams, and she revealed that she got molested by, like, both sides of the family. What? Yeah, then she was talking about what happened while the family was on Ayana and why I guess she walked out of filming. Remember we talked about that last Monday? Yeah. Because supposedly someone started talking about, I guess, her secrets. And she, I don't know, maybe she wanted to be, like, revealed at the moment. So that's when she just walked out. Wow. Uh, it's crazy. And then she said, like, only two people knew about it, which is, I don't even know. I don't think she revealed the second person, but her new boo. So supposedly she, yeah. So I'm like, only two people know, but you got, like, hella sisters and a mom. It just don't make sense to me. I guess she didn't, like, tell anyone. It was, like, her secret. But then she was, like, open about it on the Wendy, uh, Wendy Williams show. Did y'all see that? That's I don't think I posted about that. But I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was crazy. Um, And her new dude, supposedly, I don't know. Anyone got a name? I was trying to look him up. <laughs> That's some African dude, and she's like, he got a nice body, he's wealthy, he's in finance and stuff. I know she had to throw out the nice body thing, because obviously Vince, her ex-husband, ain't got a nice body. <laughs> Done. I just read something, too. He's suffering from some health issues. Mm. Something going on with him. Um, But yeah, and then she already talking about they in love, and that uh, if he was to propose, she would get married. And she will have kids with him. It's I think they only been dating for like three months. I'm like, damn, girl, chill out. Damn. Yeah. I don't you know. know. What's crazy is that, like, I I know like their divorce was really public, like her and Vince's, but like, mm -hmm. you didn't hear anything after that. Like, you didn't hear like, hey, they co-parenting, hey, they doing this now. I stopped watching the show. I haven't watched, um, you know, um the Family Ties, the Braxton show, or whatever, but um, I didn't even know she was dating somebody else. That's crazy. Me neither. I think I saw it on another blog. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be seeing things, and I'll be like, and I don't even be posting it. I, I don't know. I'll be assuming my followers should know some things, but I guess I'm the blogger. I, sh I should be posting it. But some things I really don't be caring about. Like, I'll see it, and then I'll be like, nah, I ain't posting that shit. But, like, I know. And then people DM me, be like, did you hear about this? I'm like, yeah, I know. I ain't feel like posting it. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you can't post everything. You wouldn't even keep up with everything. 
TMP, I don't even know if she's divorced yet. That's, that's the what, thing. I'm like, is that shit even legal? That's what I that's what I was basically getting at. Like what what happened with her events? Like nobody heard anything after that. The African dude must have the magic stick. I heard about them African dudes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he got her ready to have babies. I'm like, damn. But um, what do you want to talk about first? Do you want to talk about the basketball bias? Did you see it at the reunion? I did. I saw I I missed the last little piece of it um but we can talk about basketball wise reunion okay because i noticed a lot of the people in the comments was like flaming the hell out of tammy which i was surprised but i guess she kind of deserves it saying that the part when her and evelyn were going at it Mm. with the embryo talk and you saw tammy started it what i forgot what she said like dried up embryos or something she was trying to get out of Evelyn because of what happened with Carl and she had to like let go of the embryos and stuff so she started it and Evelyn just flamed the shit out of her Tammy got all of her feelings and wound up leaving the reunion early like she couldn't handle it and then I wanted to say like maybe it's because she's grown and she's trying to be this better person because throughout the season she was always walking away and everything but I don't think that's the case I think Evelyn legit hurt Tammy's feelings yeah but I mean she started it, so I like Tammy, but she wasn't ready for that, so. <laughs> you know what? I get a little bit of the feeling, like, when they were talking about Evelyn's embryos, is that, um, like, nothing's off, nothing's off the limits, like, to talk about on the re- on these shows, or even basketball-wise, it's not yeah. the shows. Like, nothing's off limits, and then I feel like everybody de- definitely gets sensitive, like, I would be upset. I would definitely be upset if somebody had said my embryos dried up. But I feel like Evelyn sometimes gets a little more upset because people be like calling her a liar. Because like mm-hmm. Tim was like, yeah, was it Carl's embryos? Like basically calling her like a hoe. Was there really embryos fr- like frozen? I think that's what she gets more upset about. Yeah. No, exactly. Like, yeah. 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 And then for her to walk out, and the producers was like, we got a whole segment you, uh, with you and Reggie. She's like, I don't care. She was over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, Shawnee means to come back next season. She ain't going to trip. It's like she ain't showing up for work. That's what Shawnee was saying about Jen. Like, I don't know if yes. I can trust Jen for showing up to work. So, Jen, like we told you guys weeks ago, Jen didn't come. And I guess at the very last minute, she decided to drop out. And that her, was it her lawyer's? Got yeah. some texts like she was scared um, showing up, thinking the other ladies were going to attack her and stuff. I'm like, really, girl? Come on, you know security there. You know security ain't going to let anything happen. Yeah, that's <laughs> ain't going to throw no tables at you. I thought that was really weak because I feel like the reunion would have gone a whole other way if Jen was there. So yeah. Somebody said know. they're disappointed in Shawnee. Um we, we can't forget, Shawnee's the executive producer. Even though she's sitting on that side of the camera, she is all about what the storyline and getting the coins on the other side of the camera mm-hmm. is this part of it. Um, nothing Shawnee does, I believe, on the show. Like, I do believe that this season, when they were all, like, over Jen, I feel like Jen was definitely lying. I feel like Jen was talking behind people's backs. That second to the last episode when, like, they were still in Amsterdam and they were about to fight. I feel mm-hmm. like just because somebody's like, oh, I, I love your child. Your child is like my own. That don't mean that Jen was not talking about um, Shawnice to everybody else when she was mad. Like, Oh, she was definitely was. She was definitely talking about yeah. her. She never admitted that she wasn't. And she didn't want to have to admit that on national TV. So now mm-hmm. you're not going to do the reunion. Now, I think that was super weak, but... I do think that Shawnee is always in the background playing those cards, basically. Yeah. Did you see the part, though, when Tammy was trying to, like, touch Shawnee? She was like, don't touch me. Like, Shawnee was like, what? I was like, oh. (laughs) Yeah. I know Shawnee's executive producer, but I feel like she doesn't have all the power that people make it seem like she has. Like, I feel like that's kind of being played up a little bit for the camera. Like... Okay, for instance, like, remember when um, Brandy was on there and she was like, your services are no longer needed, like, thank you. But, like, what if she was, like, a really popular person? You get what I'm saying? Like, what if the people wanted her back? Like, I feel like if she was that popular, 
Shawnee would have no choice but to bring her back. I think it was because she was kind of like a throwaway character. No one really cared. Yeah. But it was like, like Evelyn, for instance, how she just came back. Like, I feel like Shawnee might have a little bit of say, but not that much power like everyone's given her. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, but, I hear you. I yeah, hear you. yeah. And then the girls make it seem like she has that much power, too. Like, oh, oh, is she coming back next season? They look at Shawnee like, and I'm like, it ain't all up to Shawnee. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jackie's wig bothered the hell out of me. I don't... <laughs> Girl, I don't know who it was just like me. A piece of plastic helmet on her head. I'm yeah. like, girl. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel about lace fronts, and it's no disrespect to people who wear lace fronts, everything, but it's like you got some that are done right, and you got some ones that just look fake as hell. And Jackie has way too much money for the piece of hair just to be sitting on top of her head like that with that fake ass part. I'm just like, girl, you got all this money. Like, her husband used to play for the Lakers, Doug, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. like come on, man. <laughs> you on TV ain't time. no excuse. Yeah, like yeah. look like some project ghetto wig shit, like that you get from the corner hair store, and you yes. glue that shit in with like <laughs> glue and hair glue. Like that shit looks busted as hell. <laughs> I don't know. That shit annoyed me. But and also there was no point of her being there. Like. <laughs> I thought that was weak. She called Jennifer. Like, Jackie, ain't nobody checking for you. Talk about you calling Jennifer. Like, um, and, and you know what's so funny is that I love um, Lamont um, Mark Hill, but I just feel like he was playing that up a lot when she was like, we didn't plan for this. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. like, Y'all doing too much. Mm -hmm. No, but. Yeah. He hosted last season because I don't remember. I thought it was John Sally. I thought so too, but when they I know John Sally used to always be the host. Yeah. I liked him as a host though. Yeah. Lamont's cool too. I'm so mad I didn't go to Philly. I was supposed to go to Philly a couple months ago for like this journalism conference and I helped promote it and I was like the social media editor and everything. And he was one of the speakers and I was like, damn it, I can't go. I'm gonna miss out meeting him. But you know, he seems like he's a really cool dude. Um what else was there? I feel like uh, I'm forgetting uh, something. Oh, the shade towards OG. Yeah. Why would they? Damn. Like, the shade was... First of all, I feel like OG would beat everyone's ass on that stage. <laughs> yes. I feel like they don't want it with OG. Um, maybe Malaysia might be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. But, like, everyone else, OG would, like, probably pound the shit out of all of them. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, John Sally. He was the old host. But yeah, the way they came at her, Malaysia was like, oh, leave the side boob at home or something because you don't have them. Something. I was like, whoa. I know. <laughs> what I want to know is, I like Malaysia, but is her body real? You know what? All I real? don't know, but she is definitely always thick in all the right spots. Like, yeah. Like, she's always thick in all the right spots. I mean, she is thicker than what she's been in the past, which. Yeah. She might have just gained weight. But it is a little, like, I'd be like, mm, she gained weight in all the right spots. I don't know. Yeah, Michelle. If that, I don't know if that's all her or not. Yeah, because when she said that, I laughed. I chuckled a little bit. And I know they've been coming out OG hard, like, talking about her wig all the way back here and talking about her saggy boobs. Evelyn had jokes on the show and everything. But then I'm also like, you know, real boobs do sag a little. And then I don't think she's had kids before. But, you know, it happens. But yeah. then I'm like, if you have a fake body, you shouldn't even be talking then. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because your body is fake. So how dare you come at someone who actually has a real body? And OG's body is not that bad. So, I mean. No, I feel you. Yeah. I, I don't know. Sometimes I mean, OG acts like. OG, I would be more upset how they portray me on the season about my boyfriend and me trying to like commit to my boyfriend because they can't they made her out to kind of be like thirsty like trying to get this guy to commit to her kind of character mm -hmm. um but i don't think she i think that she probably out of all the characters the new ones this season she probably stayed the truest to herself like she yeah. wasn't trying to switch it up <laughs> her way was trash yeah. <laughs> that part in the show when it was like Back here. And Evelyn was like, I think you left it in the car, yo. I mean, not Evelyn. I think Malaysia said that. I was dying. 
Yeah, she does talk a lot of shit. Yeah. But Kristen, Kristen was getting on her and she had some good points. She was like, you got to get butt ass naked in a thong and your man still don't want you. I was like, oh, shit. You know, this OG got real quiet. She ain't have shit to say because Kristen was right. He he don't want you. Like, why? Why are you with him? (laughs) Word. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tammy apologized about the chat comment, too. So, but Evelyn didn't give a shit. She was like, yeah, she's a great actress. So I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that Evelyn Tammy beef, man. I just, it's so crazy because they're like both such good characters for that franchise. Uh-huh. Like, we've like grown to love both of them, but they both are just like, they hate each other now. I think, yeah. that, like, I think we've all talked about this on the reality recap before. I think it's time for that particular franchise to retire. Like, mm-hmm. they can find some popping young girls like how they had Drea Drea like Dre and like, Drea's friend yes let Drea be like the new OG on the not OG but the old you know original gangster of the franchise and then build it around Drea's you know friends in the industry and all you think that. Drea will come back I think for the right money she would I think with new I, ladies she wouldn't come back with the old ladies she come with these she's, yeah no. she's definitely over Jackie and all the bullshit with her even though Jackie supposedly is a better person now. Yeah. But and then I think also that Dre would probably want like an executive producer credit. She would want more mm-hmm. control over it. I think that um Drea back in the day when like um she started dating her husband, her fiance, I don't think he likes her being on the show. And I think that has a lot to do with like, you know, they're engaged now, so I don't know, but I can't see Yeah, they didn't get married, right? I feel like they've been engaged forever. They have been engaged for a while. Their son, I think, is going to be two or three. And they've been Mm -hmm. engaged since she's had that baby. Oh, I forgot about that chick, uh, Duke, saying they call her Ling Ling, not Lily. Uh, What's her real name? Oh, (laughs) not Kristen. Um, The other one. Damn, I forgot. I forgot her name now, too. That's how memorable she was. Girl, good night. (laughs) The one who's dating Byron Scott. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> I know who he is, but I forgot her name. Um, oh, well. I don't think she really matters. I doubt if she comes back another season anyway. These new chicks, they be in and out. Like, I seen this old clip, and I was like, damn, that's right. Um, I forgot what they were. Oh, I was reading something about how Malaysia's name is not really Malaysia. It's like Lakeisha, Laquisha, some ghetto shit like that. Like, yeah. one of them typical ghetto names. And how it got revealed once because Jackie was like, oh, I don't know. She was a positive about something. This was like the first season going way back. So, yeah. And remember when she fought um, the Goldman sister, Laura? Yep. Yeah. They had old ass people. And I totally forgot because chicks like that only be on there for like one season. They had like Ron Artest's girlfriend on there. I think Keisha Artest. And then I think it's like if your storyline is boring, they kind of quietly just write you out because yeah. I found it so funny. They show her like one or two episodes and then she kind of just disappeared. Then there was some other trick with like blonde dreads. I don't know if y'all remember. I'm like taking it way back. This is the first season of Basketball Wives LA. Yeah, her middle name is Malaysia, but the first name is LaQuasia or something like that. But yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of those chicks. It's like a revolving door of them. Um, oh, and Evelyn says she's done with Jen, so I guess they're really not friends anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> she says Shawnee basically co-signing in the last episode, what Jen was saying is, like, what did it to her? Because why would Shawnee lie? Like, maybe she won't believe Malaysia, but Shawnee would basically co-sign what Malaysia was saying, so Ev says she's dumb. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, oh, and also Evelyn says something about Tammy's health, that Tammy's lying about her health. I was like, I want to know the tea on that. I think that Evelyn just said that. I think Tammy really is sick. It ain't no way Mm -hmm. that, that, like, Tammy's losing that type of weight, and she's very self-conscious about it, that, like, Mm -hmm. she would just be lying about that. So I don't know what Evelyn's coming with that. I don't know. She's like, I know the truth, and Tammy is saying a bunch of BS. And I was like, what? How Shawnee fake this season? I was just reading that. <laughs> what y'all think? Let us know. 
<laughs> oh, two people. Shawnee fake as hell. Really? Jeez. I wonder if he, if she like lied on Jen then. But then Jen and Tammy wrong as hell. I mean, if they both knew this secret for a year, why do you wait for the cameras to roll and then say something? Like Evelyn said, I'm not trying to take sides, but Evelyn was right when when it came to that. She should have went up to Shawnee a year ago off camera and said something. Totally. Oh, Tammy couldn't have a baby? Oh, wow. They're up there in age, though. They're really getting up there in age. Like, what's Tammy, like, in her late 40s, early 50s? I think late 40s. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly Tammy has diabetes. Um, diabetes runs in my family. And then I do ha I have a cousin that has diabetes. She lost some weight from that. But doesn't look, like, extremely skinny or anything. So, I don't know. Maybe yeah. she has something else going on that she just doesn't want to share with people. Probably, because, like, you can lose weight from diabetes. But Tammy lost, like, so much weight. She lost a, she lost a lot mm -hmm. of weight in a, lo a, in a little bit of time. And, like, y'all know how I feel about this. Like, if you do have those type of medical issues and you don't want to talk about it, that's completely your business. That's your privacy, like... But yeah. also with them being on shows and, and talking about certain things, I do feel like they have some type of obligation to let people know, like, hey, something is going on. Just respect my privacy. I don't feel like Tammy's really touched upon exactly what's going on. Yeah. Um, why are you laughing? <laughs> Saying Tammy next skinny and laughing. Um, anyway, let's switch gears. Did you watch Insecure? I didn't. Did watch I, Insecure? I did get a chance to watch this week's episode of Insecure. Oh, it was so good. Was it? We can talk about it because I'll watch it. I'll watch it later today. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Lawrence has chlamydia. So, well, hey. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Do y'all watch Insecure? <laughs> It was, right, in RB? So I, they picked back up where they left off with the 7-Eleven. Okay. And she was asking Lawrence, like, oh, how's everything with you? And they're doing, like, a flashback in his head. And basically he's, you know, excelling at work, jobs, everything good. He's out there wilding out, this thotting and bopping, banging everything raw. Then they show him at the doctor, and the doctor was like, basically, you know, you should use a condom when you're having sex. And later on, Chad was like, to spill the beans about the chlamydia thing but and then he's like oh had had chlamydia and he's like you still had it like and he had to call up all the chicks he bangs to tell them like you might want to yeah. get yourself checked yeah <laughs> that was a lot of phone calls oh my man God. whore right nathan something's weird with nathan okay so it seemed like um i still didn't see the end of that episode because everyone's saying that's the lift boo which now it makes sense Oh, but yeah. I missed the end or whatever of one of the episodes. But yeah, so Nathan and Issa were laying in bed and he's like, oh, I really like you, blah, blah, blah. Then Lyft calls her later saying that there's some investigation going on. Because when he got in the fight um, in the back of her seat with yeah, old yeah. boy. And he hasn't been talking to her since then. Like, just went MIA. Exactly. Where'd he go? Issa keeps calling him and everything. He ain't picking up the phone. Damn. Really weird. I feel like he's doing some shady shit, like telling her, telling on her or something, maybe saying like, oh, the way she had it set up, like a party lift. I don't know. I feel like he's trying to like blame it on her and maybe going to take a case out or something, but he's doing yeah. something shady because he, he's like ghost right now. Nathan is prison bay. <laughs> That's I don't crazy. think, I don't know. When I saw Nathan in bed and they showed his little skinny self, he wasn't cute to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he too skinny <laughs> yeah that was some shady shit um then what y'all think about Molly with the Asian dude I forgot his name so I'm just gonna call him Asian dude something oh, so um he got an Asian boo huh Where's she the one there? from Coachella that was oh, with I think Nathan's oh, okay. friend okay the other guy's friend I got you okay yeah yeah so he asked her out on a date because he returned her jacket. I thought that was cute. And she's going to give him a chance. All because Kelly and Issa was basically like, you need to open up more. <laughs> Kelly 
Kelly is so funny. Talking about some tumbleweeds coming out your pussy. That's how long it's been. <laughs> Jesus Lord. And what y'all think about Tiffany? Tiffany had her baby shower. And first okay. of all, I don't think... I forgot her man's name on the show. But the show... They need to touch base on what they're hiding. Remember something weird was going on with their marriage? Yeah. And I still think Tiffany was cheating on him. And I have a feeling that's not his baby. I don't know. This is my my thing. I agree 100%. I think that's what it is, Lala. Because at one of the episodes, yeah, they said something weird. And I was like, she said something like him or her or something. Like, she alluded that, like, the baby wouldn't have been his. Like, mm-hmm. she was, like, looking for, like, some, a, a new experience. And, like, alluded like she had cheated. So, yeah. I don't know. But it is something hot. They're hot in something in that relationship. Yeah. Like, I'm happy all the boys are back together, though. You got Chad, Lawrence. You got that dude. Then Drew, she's a real asshole. So, here come his wife, Candace, popping up all of a sudden. I was like, first of all, weren't you just playing Whitney Houston It's that same actress? <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, Whitney, what you doing here? I forgot her real name. She was Derwin's baby mama on the game. If y'all watched the game on B. I think her name is Gabrielle Dennis. Is that her okay, name? Okay, yes. Yeah. That is her name. Yeah. So um, she was on there as Candace. And I forgot. She always played Candace. Because his wife is never around. And I forgot yeah. who the damn actress was. He was. Oh, okay. So she oh, popped back in. Him. Yeah, she popped back in out of nowhere. And the B is pregnant. I was like, oh. <laughs> yep. So her and Joe are expecting. Yeah, Gabriel Dennis. That's crazy. And then Molly acting all sour. And I'm like, I don't even feel sorry for you because, first of all, you shouldn't be sleeping with a married man, open marriage or not. Like, that whole situation was shady. Joe is shady on screen and in real life off screen. I was reading about his issues off screen and how he slept with the girl, got her pregnant, uh, Lawrence's ex on the show. Like, that's the real life drama. Yeah. So he's a mess on the show and off the show. Um, and yeah, oh, and Tiffany's, she got like these new friends now that like plans her baby shower. Really weird. So she didn't even bother to ask Tiffany, Issa, or Molly if they wanted to be on the planning committee, which Damn. was real shady. Yeah, Kelly looked like she was really hurt. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she is one of those friends that she's moving on because she's pregnant and like the other friends her old crew is not you know they're still in the partying phase she was still trying to party with them at coachella i think she like smoked something right she had remember she had an edible which she shouldn't be doing so i feel like now she's hanging out she got this other crew the people who plan the party for her and she's like oh they're moms so it's like now she's like you know she's just transforming because now she has a baby and everything it's like I don't know. I feel like it's going to be different now. Yeah, Kelly is hurt as hell because she's losing her best friend to the baby. She's like, why does the baby hate me already? I'm like, what? What? Um, yeah, I think that was it. Let's talk about this um, This whole uh, press conference on this uh, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, exactly. No, they're like, I want more Kelly on the show. Kelly and Chad are the best characters on yes. Insecure. My opinion, just want to say. They are definitely <laughs> the comic relief. Yeah. Um, They need to give Kelly a man, though. I would like to see her in a relationship. And not just getting fingered under the table, like in past seasons. <laughs> I think I told y'all before, though, that... Like, Kelly is one of the main writers like Issa is on the show. So I think that even more so than Issa writing, I think mm-hmm. Kelly's one of like the main, main writers. So like oh, I think it's hard that. for her, for them to write her in with her balance and writing the show and acting in the show. So maybe she'll like lead towards acting a little more so we can develop that character in Kelly. Mm-hmm. Cause I would love to see more Kelly. Less writing, more acting, Kelly. Let's go. So, yep. Yep. <laughs> um, so did y'all watch Love and Hip Hop tonight? Lord. Which I feel like these Love and Hip Hop seasons last way too long because I'm already over it. I'm over yeah. the Hollywood one. I'm ready for New York. And then soon I'll be over the New York one. Yeah. But I hope they don't. Well, I think they are bringing back Miami. But, ugh. 
terrible. Um, so yeah, the whole press conference thing, which you already saw because that's been all around the blogs and everything already. But so Tara Marie addressed her sex tape. I'm like so bored talking about this. <laughs> Too bad. And she did a press conference with Lisa Bloom and played the victim. I guess she is the victim. Revenge porn and how it's you know, it's not the law. You can't do that. And yada, yada. And they're like, Akbar, did you leak the tape? And he's like, no. But then what's funny is that the girlfriend popped up and she's taking the blame for it. She's like, oh, I did it. Don't blame Akbar. It was me. Like, do you think that yeah. she would leak that? Or is she just taking the rap for her man? I think that she's just taking the rap for her man. Mm. I, 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 that's, what, that's what I say. I think they're all stupid. I, um, uh, <laughs> I hate that fake love, though. Mm -hmm. Like, Brooke, like, just kind of coming in, being Tierra's friend, because now, like, Nikki's not really messing with her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, you, that's like, y'all, like, they don't even build it up to be believable. That's what, like, yeah. I have a problem with. Like, come on, y'all. Like, y'all not really supporting her. Like, it's not, like, it's not genuine. It comes off so fake. Yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? Going, because you mentioned Brooke. How about the ending, though, when Moniece was, and this is a thing, because this is like a telenovela, like I always say, yeah. and I don't know what's real and what's fake on this show. It seems like a lot of fake. So I'm like, was Moniece really in panic mode? They had to call the ambulance. If y'all saw the show, she was freaking out in the studio. She was supposed to be recording with, um, what's his name? The queen, rock star, star yeah. messy queen. <laughs> He's a mess. Messy. So she started freaking out. Brooke comes to the studio acting like she's supporting. But it's like, girl, you singing in the background with your vocals. Are you supporting or are you being shady? Yeah. That was a little, it was a little shady. It it's was. like, oh, you should be singing higher like this. And then she's doing it. It's like she wanted to take over the record from the beginning. And I don't even really like Monice like that. But Brooke was wrong. Then they put Monice in the ambulance. And then rock star seemed like. The whole thing was just a joke anyway. He didn't even really take it seriously. You can see from his face, like his facial expressions. And he's like, so what are we going to do about the song? He's like, oh, you should get in the studio to Brooke. Brooke, anyways, no time. Nope. <laughs> Moniece on the stretcher getting taken away in the ambulance. And Brooke <laughs> took over her damn song and is singing it. I'm like, Moniece going to be pissed as hell. <laughs> yeah, I feel exactly, like. Exactly, Roderick. I feel like, I feel like Brooke was fake for doing that. And I like Brooke's character. Like, Brooke is one of the characters that I really enjoy on this season. Because mm -hmm. um, I think she's a little cray-cray. I thought, like, she was crazy, like, taking the ring and wearing the ring. Like, she, like, like Marcus had proposed to her. I feel like she's, like, genuinely crazy. And I like that yeah. little flavor. But, like, like, she was married to Marcus, but Marcus ain't no. But in her mind, she was like, bitch, we're married, okay? Like Yeah, like, <laughs> she was doing a lot. But also, like, I feel like maybe um, that was, like, if that was her, really how she felt, like, if Monice was in trouble, which, FYI, pause, I think Monice was faking. We all saw how she's trying to get out of this love and hip-hop contract. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's just a little too convenient. Like, you just having this panic attack. I feel like we're going to continue to see that for Bodice that she just wants to get out of a contract. Yeah. But the She's way like, that they don't even know. They don't, I was like, <laughs> what the hell am I watching right now? Like, <laughs> and I go back for laughing, but I couldn't help it. This shit was funny. <laughs> like, she was really putting on. She was really acting. Like, yeah. I'm like, girl, good night. Do they get Emmys? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> So. Because some of these people deserve like awards for their acting <laughs> scripted yeah. series. Um but yeah, I feel like that's gonna be a problem because aren't they all supposed to go to London? Yeah. Bridget invited all of them. Yeah. And if Monice goes and realizes that Brooke, you know, stole her record, then that could lead to a future fight or maybe at the reunion. But yeah. Hot mess. Oh, and then this chick Amber. So people keep saying she slept with A one. I was like, did you hear about that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that dude, did. I don't even know his name. The one who's pissed with the judges. Shout out to Jasmine Brand. She was one of the judges on the show. You got a lot of bloggers on there. Yeah. So she was one of the judges, and um, whatever they had going on last week, and that dude was mad with them because they picked Amber over him. 
Um, but I didn't know. I'm going to have to do a Google search later. She said her mom, who's the manager, worked with Two Jeans, Lil Wayne, and Mumbles. Uh, future, sorry. I'd be calling <laughs> I want people to be like, who the hell's Mumbles? Future. And I was like, she works with all these legit artists? Like, I didn't know that. So I was like, oh, okay. Maybe she does have the money to be throwing down. Remember she paid Rockstar? Like, yeah. I, I thought it was Mona's money. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe she does. And they look like they have a nice house. Yeah. It is not Airbnb, but yeah. it look like it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it seems like her bio's pretty legit. Yeah. Oh, and also shout out to Team Curtains. I don't know if you guys follow Team Curtains, but the main blogger is Nathan, and they're from the UK. And a while ago, he showed me his um, interview with Tiara. When she gets pissed, they're going to show that on the next episode. Oh, so he's. Yeah, that. that's Nathan from Team Curtains. Make sure y'all follow them. And he's interviewing Tiara about the sex tape. And whatever questions they ask, she ain't like it. And she gets up and leaves. <laughs> oh, I got to follow so, that. So, yeah. So if you want to watch the interview before they show it on Love and Hip Hop, it's on. I think it's. I don't know. He DM'd me that clip a while ago. It should be on Team Curtain's uh, YouTube. So just like Google Team Curtain's YouTube, and I guess the Tiara Marie interview is up there. But she gets hella pissed, and then she walks out. And I was like, oh, shit, they're showing out on Love & Hip Hop. I was like, go ahead, blogger boo. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out I like to seeing my blogger. fellow bloggers doing big things. I know. I was like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's funny. I hope they paid him for that appearance. Okay? Get them points. Listen. Um... And what do you think about Nikki and Paris's um, friendship with Tiara? I feel like Nikki is like absolutely on the on the season this this year. Like I feel like when Nikki came in and she was like making the splash because it was mm -hmm. her and Masika dating the same guy. Like they had a storyline. I feel like Nikki like she don't got the storyline anymore, and I'm just kind of over her. Like Paris, I feel like they're trying to force Paris in there like in the beginning like I liked Paris but now I'm just kind of over her too and now they're trying to make her like a Tokyo vanity and it ain't yes. happening it ain't Tokyo's happening. like naturally funny and Paris seems like she's trying too hard yeah 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 exactly Nikki's just there like isn't she in the beginning the intro yeah like she's the yeah. main character I'm like B you're like an Aryan from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta you don't matter you're just taking up space yeah. And then I want to know, what does Akbar have on Nikki? Because all of a sudden, she's like, oh, I don't want to be hanging around with you, giving you, like, advice or something. And then he tries to sue me, talking about some, oh, you tried to help her. And I'm like, B, does he have something on you? Because Nikki felt Word. all the way back yeah. <laughs> when it came to this whole, you know, suing thing and press conference with Tiara. Like, you would think Nikki's involved with some shit with Akbar. So, I don't know, that's a little shady. Then she tried to use like, oh, I had to be there for my family. No, you said the real reason. <laughs> yeah. So what does Akbar have on you? Hmm. Exactly. And then Paris was like, oh, I don't get involved with all the legal stuff. I'm like, you ain't a real friend then. Legal stuff, no legal stuff. And if you're a real friend, like, I bailed a friend out of jail before, okay? Like, yep. <laughs> real right. friends are there. So exactly. obviously they're not real friends. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I didn't know anyone listen to Bridget's songs because I'm like, is she a legit singer? Yo, look Bridget Kelly up on Spotify and just play, uh -huh. play her Spotify channel. Bridget Kelly is actually an amazing singer. Like, okay, she's a really great singer. I don't know, like, I feel like she needs better management. Like, I mm. feel like she could be a superstar, but like, she just doesn't get the right management. But like. I don't like her on the show. Like, I just don't like her, like... She kind of has no purpose show. on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. isn't she supposed to be Marcus's, like, one of his good friends? Yes. Yeah. And then I think her and Brooke had a problem last season, but now they seem like they're real cool. I mean, obviously, she invited her to London. But it's just the part where she was like, oh, every time I go to, like, London, they show me love. And I was like, oh, she goes around like that? I was like, she must be good then. Like, she's not, like, an Erica Mena type singer. Like, she must be, like, she's legit. Oh, no, so, she's legit. She's good amazing. for her. She has an amazing voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes, and, like, even though I don't really like Monice, but I heard, I was on the Shade Rooms page once, and she was doing, what song is that? The one with her... 
and ah, uh, I forgot the name of the song. I don't know if you guys saw that clip. Moniz was singing one the, that popular song from her, and Daniel Caesar. Oh, you yeah. know what song? Yeah. She was doing hers part, and she sounded really good. And I was surprised. I was like, oh shit, Moniz can sing. She was, real, but the clip I saw on Love and Hip Hop tonight, I was like, oh hell no, like. Yeah, Bodice was that on point today. Yeah. Um, was there anything else? Oh, you saw the part when Cam Michelle met up with Akbar? Yep. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Cam Michelle looks at me I was like, let me ask you something. Did you lick the tape? And then he's sitting there with a smile, talking about some no. Then she, I mean, she asked him, oh, did your girlfriend wife lick the tape? And he was like, I can't say. I'm like, yeah, then he right. tried to get her in on his lifestyle, like, oh, you could be number three. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, are you serious? He no, K Michelle's a legit star herself. Like, I I want K Michelle to like be done with love and hip hop. I want her to flourish in her musical career and be done with love and hip hop because she yeah. can have a legit music career. Yeah. But is she friends with Tiara? I don't really know their relationship. I feel like they were. I feel okay. like she was supporting Tiara through Ray, that Ray J stuff because I don't feel like Ray J and K. Michelle are like that good. I feel like yeah. she was more on Tiara's side throughout all of that. I could be. And wrong. I don't even think any of these people are like real friends. I feel like they're just like friends, friends for the show. And once the camera stopped rolling, it's just like, all right, we'll see you next time we film. Kind of like yeah, that. Exactly. Unless it's like events or something. But I don't really get the vibe that any of them are, like, really good friends. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. And then Kay Michelle was watching the whole press conference with Tiara, and she said she feels like it's kind of like the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta type scandal with Mimi. You know how Mimi yes. played victim? We said that last week. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I was like, I'm getting those vibes, too, because Tiara, I don't, I'm like, what the hell? Like, if someone's leaking your tape, you're going to be in their room? Like, she yeah. took, it seemed like she was taking Akbar back. And she's like, oh, like, I still love him, yada, yada, yada. Like, girl, he just leaked your private sex tape. Like, you had white stuff all over your face. Like, you're not embarrassed. You're still yeah. in your room talking to him and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, entertainment crazy. friends, exactly. Tiara, I can't. What she said? Oh, the lighter the eyes, the bigger the lies. <laughs> Kay Michelle said about Akbar. <laughs> Don't trust guys with light eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Liars. <laughs> um, I don't know. Was there anything else? I'm over loving hip hop, but I can't stop watching. No, I feel you. What what shows are coming on? What shows do we need to start looking at that are coming up? Um, Remy Ma and Papoose, they're getting their own show. Ooh. Um I think it's like a three week type thing that's gonna be on VH1 about like their blended families and you know right. Remy Ma's pregnant, so the cameras are probably gonna follow her journey as being pregnant and stuff like that as they prepare for the baby to arrive. Call Meet the Mackies. When is it coming? Yeah, on? October first. Are y'all gonna watch that? I don't know if y'all are here for that. I'm gonna watch. Me too. I like the. And what else? Oh, Ray J and Princess loves. Labor of Love special is next Monday on VH1. That's not like a show. It's just like a special. Wish they had the baby. Yeah, they're probably going to show her in labor. Okay. I, they probably like what they did with Jocelyn. I think they had that for Jocelyn. Okay. Yo, Black Ink Crew, like, no lies. So I stopped watching that show. But I keep, because they keep throwing that shit in your face. So you have no other option but to watch it, like the previews. It looks lit, though. I might actually have to watch Black and Crew again. I was like, damn, like, Puma comes back? I was like, wait, didn't he throw a chicken wing on the floor and then they fought <laughs> and then he left the show? Um, that was the last time I remember. But did your screen just freeze? Is she frozen, y'all? Candace, I think your screen froze up. Um, then there was something else, another new show. Her screen is frozen, right? I thought it was just on my end. Okay. So maybe she'll come back in. I look a hot mess, guys. 
so weird. I hope everyone comes back. Hi. Our connection was crazy before. Welcome back. Whoops. Wait, view. Sorry, guys. Anybody got no Metro PCS trying to play me? <laughs> hey. <laughs> My bad. That was so weird. I could see people's comments, but then I couldn't like add you in. It kept saying like pause, and I was like, "What's going on?" Oh, my bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> they tried to play us. Someone said Metro PCS. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "No, not Metro is that PCS. still around?" <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot what we were talking about before the thing rudely interrupted us uh -oh. <laughs> and kicked us out. <laughs> What was it? Uh, we were talking about... Oh, we were talking about new shows. Remy and Pap's new show. Yeah. And then if you guys watch Married at First Sight, it's going to be some Honeymoon Island Ooh. Um, show that premieres in October, October 23rd. So that's three new shows. No, sorry, two new shows. Because Ray J and Prince's Love show is just a special. Yeah. Nice. I yeah. wonder if everyone came back from before. Um, so yeah, we talk about love and hip hop, insecure, basketball wives. I don't know. Was there anything else? You know what I wanted to ask you guys? Like, and we, and we kind of talked about, um, this power, but did y'all see that the executive producer leaked and said that Angela is a dead? How did y'all feel about that? Oh yeah. After we talked about it too. Yeah. Yo, I swear I be feeling like people watch because we get a lot of views on the replay, yeah. like thousands. And I'm like, oh, now people want to watch. Y'all like, don't want to watch live, but y'all be clicking that replay. Yeah. And I be seeing it. I swear I be feeling like some of these people watch it. And then it's like, that's when shit comes out. And I'm like, Candace and I was just talking about that. Yeah, we sure so we were. was just talking about, we wonder if Angela's dead. And then it's like, Courtney revealed that she's not dead. And I'm like, why would you do that though? Yeah, why would you do that? Yeah, that was weird. Because you could have kept us waiting an entire year to figure out if Angela was dead or not on power. But then you just basically said she's still alive. Which is kind of whack, though, because then why do you have her getting shot in the chest and bleeding out? Yeah. It's weird. I feel like now it's a dream sequence. I feel like... Think? I feel like Tommy did shoot Ghost, and he dreamt that it was him watching Tommy shoot Angela, but Tommy really shot Ghost, and then, like, he's going to wake up, like, in a cobra or something like that. That's just what I think. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at this point, I actually really don't even care if Ghost dies or not, honestly. I mean, ain't nobody main character remember that guy, so. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, as long as they don't kill Tommy off, then we all good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be weird with Ghost and Tommy not friends next season. Like, I don't see them being friends after all this. Especially since he basically tried to kill Ghost's pussy, Angela. So, yeah. <laughs> that ain't going to sit well with Ghost. Um, real quick about Married at First Sight. I don't know if you guys watched that. So, since I was off today, I caught up. I watched, like, three episodes. And it's so weird. None of the women cook. <laughs> it's so weird it is crazy. it's like yeah everything's like totally different this season so like all the wives moved in with the husbands none of them cook and it seems like in every relationship it seems like the husband is doing more than like yeah. the wife yeah and i'm like hmm like you have bobby first of all i need me a bobby because bobby's like i'm willing to do anything to make you happy i'm like oh damn yeah, like, he is willing to do anything for Danielle to make her happy. I'm like, okay, he's the Southern gentleman. But um, they went to that cooking class, and Amber's freaking out, like, oh, my God, I don't know how to chop. I don't know how to do this. Freaking Mia burned a damn cloth on the stove. I'm like, oh, like, like I'm not the best cook, I but I can manage. But these these girls are really bad. They were <laughs> I'm like, this is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, can you pour cereal in a bowl? Like, that type of bad. 
Um, Amber is annoying. Like, this whole season is just, I keep comparing it to last season, and it's just, even when they're together as a group, it's just not even the same. It's like they don't vibe well as a group, and it's like they're not trying to help one another, and I'm like, it's not the point of all you guys seeing each other because they didn't do that on previous seasons. Yeah. Like, it just seems like Danielle's like, oh, my marriage is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm just like, what? Like, they're just weird. All of them are just weird. Yeah, it, it is. It's it's way different. The vibe is uh, way different this season. And I feel like Danielle and that guy, I feel like their marriage is bad fake. It's like you nobody so? is that happy. Yeah. And then he's like, she's fostering dogs. Then he was talking about one of the dogs has diarrhea. And he's like, I got to get up at midnight and clean the diarrhea. I got to get up at 6 a.m. clean the diarrhea. And I'm just like, these are her dogs. Like, you're fine with that. And he's like, anything to make you happy. It's like, he doesn't mind. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Have some backbone. Make her ass get up in the middle of the night. These are her damn dogs. Like, what the hell? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Hold on. Got to block the weirdos. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't watch married, uh, wait, married, it's married to medicine, right? Type, of, okay. Um, I heard about that show. It seems like it's lit, but I just haven't gotten around to watching it. Yeah, I haven't. Like, I'm either. five episodes behind on the seven-year switch show, and it seems like it's about to get really good. Like, it, the spouses don't want to go back to one another. <laughs> it's real good, Lala. Like, this last episode, I was like, oh, shoot. And you're caught up? Down. Yeah, yeah. So is it about to wrap up? Yeah, it's the last episode. They th the end of this episode is where they go home, and then the next one is the last episode where they like evaluate like their marriages. Mm, okay. They, they are not. Okay. Yeah. 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 I gotta watch like five of them bad boys. But um. Yeah. I don't know. Mad at first sight. I'm just over it. Amber is, like, really, like, how much more insecure, like, can you be? Like, she's really oh bad. Oh, my She's the worst. Really bad. Yeah. Like, it looks like her friends are coming in the next episode, and because they have, like, the black hair, br they're brunettes or whatever, and, yeah. you know, the whole thing with her and her hair. And she's like, oh, I feel like you're attracted to them more. They're more so your type. And any little thing, she's just like, oh, I feel like, you know, I'm not living up to his standards. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I don't get how he's hanging on. I would be like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Like, you are, you're way too insecure. That's not attractive at all. And she's not an ugly girl, so. No, not at all. Hey, what's poppin.net? I, I, but yeah. This is our, uh, when does our show uh, Love at uh, Lock Lockdown or what is it called? Uh, Love after, after lockdown, lockdown, right? Yeah, I gotta look that up. Yeah, we have to see when that's coming that. back because yeah, that was the show. best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Mormon chick. I'll never forget that Andrea. The funniest <laughs> with the crip dude <laughs> doing the most, doing the most, moving her kids and everything for a dude that just got in jail. <laughs> That that high school show was pretty good too. The um, what was that called? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. That was one that you guys suggested to us. The undercover one. Yeah, undercover high. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It looks like we gotta watch Married to Medicine though. Okay, I'll get into that. I'll get into. I that. don't know how many seasons deep it is, so I don't know. If not, we can pay mm -hmm. for the new season. Did yeah. you guys have anything else? Possibly eleven. Well, guys, make sure that you guys follow and subscribe to Lala's newsletter. It's dope. I keep telling y'all, don't miss the <laughs> newsletter. Hopefully, I have one. I think I missed one last Friday. <laughs> I thought it came out last Friday. Last Friday, maybe. Yeah, the one before. I did that. write one. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I'm okay. confused. It's like a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. And make sure you listen to the Little Miss Entertainment podcast. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we got new and make content. Sure you guys huh? I said we got new content coming your way. Okay. Yep. yep. So yeah, make sure you guys tune in every Monday. So we'll be back again next Monday, 10 p.m. Eastern, okay? All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry it got cut off. So <laughs> bye-bye. Bye. Bye.